Yeah, we couldn't wait to get back, honestly. You know, we came back to some colder uh, weather. But other than that, I mean, like you just said, you know, we're back in Kentucky. You know, tomorrow night we get to play in front of Kentucky fans. You know, we had um, a good, decent crowd. You know, the uh, Islanders were on our side up there a little bit. So that made us feel good. But just to be playing in front of, like, true Kentucky fans tomorrow is going to be great. Um, we enjoyed our week there in the Virgin Islands. We took care of business. but. There is no better feeling than just being back in Lexington, being back with our fans, and being ready to play tomorrow. We talked about you guys are vulnerable if you don't play with really high energy and high emotion and high intensity and all of the high things that we talked about. It. How um, do you guys sense that coming on when that happens? Like, do you think that you can get a little bit more intensity than you might have been able to have in the past? Maybe the second half against Central Michigan or the first half against Illinois. I mean, can you feel that coming on, and are there, are there things you can do to sort of change? Um, yeah, I think it's all just a mindset. Mainly, you know, we came out, you know, you could say all three games up in the Virgin Islands a little sluggish, a little, like, lackadaisical, and uh, it put us down, you know. We always had to fight. There was never a game up there in the Virgin Islands that we didn't have to fight for. And uh, I just think it's all just a mindset. We all just got to come out with uh, a certain mindset that we're going to come out, throw the first punch, you know, give the effort and intensity that he wants early, and that'll put us in a better position towards the end of the game. I did not go down there and expect them to play that well at all. Um, mainly my main focus, like I said, I mean, I've mentioned it before in some interviews, I don't have to score a point. As long as we win, that's all that matters. That's all that's going to matter on the uh, overall record. That's all that's going to matter at the end of uh, every game. As long as we win and Kentucky comes out victorious, I'm fine with that. And me playing good just gave me more confidence in myself, you know, being as I'm a sophomore now, and I feel like I got to uh, step up and be a leader uh, on the court and off the court, and my team needs me to score. So on games I can score, I'm just going to go do it. Yeah, I can agree with that completely. Um, I can actually run up down the court, you know, more than twice without dying for air, which is a good feeling. And, uh, you know, just like I said, being able to play 41 minutes or 30 minutes a game, like, I mean, that's crazy, and I'm glad I can do that. We talked about the two of you being a spark. I sort of asked about if the team sort of takes on your personality because you're both sort of energetic. And do you intentionally try to do that? Um, most definitely. I think before every game and even in just the warm-ups, we're just trying to find ways to bring energy to the team because, you know, that will affect the whole team and that will have an effect on the game. So we just try to come out and just bring flavor and just bring that excitement to the team so that it can become contagious so that everybody can get that vibe and we can be able to, to kill these teams out here. Always been your personality, and who's funnier, you or Coach Mitchell? Yes, that's us. Uh, we, you know, like when they said, we got to have some uh, flavor. You got to bring some energy to it. You know, you don't want a dead team. Nobody wants a quiet gym. And uh, we just always try to find that excitement. And Coach Mitchell's got this saying: "It's like here we go, baby." And like now, <laughs> now like I started saying it, and now like the whole team says it after everything. Here we go, baby. So like it's all just a big thing now. He loves when we say it, and. Uh, I would definitely say that I'm I'm funnier than Coach Mitchell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You talked a little bit about you guys have played seven games already in a short amount of time, and now you guys have to get a little bit of practice time. So either one of you, how important is that practice time? I believe that this practice time is going to be like essential because not only have we had like our exhibition games playing like Pikeville and Appalachian State, but we've already played like Baylor, Illinois, Oklahoma, and USF, all teams who you'll more than likely see in the NCAA tournament at the end of the year which I feel like is great experience for us, and especially since we took a loss early, which uh, lets us know where we are as a team and what we have to improve on. And um, being as we're back in Lexington now, we're practicing tonight, and like you said, we'll get a lot more practice time. I feel like that's essential, and I feel like he's going to make us work, and I feel like it's going to make us better in the long run. Uh, most definitely. I think it's very important, and these next few practices that we're about to have will be very important and vital because, like she said, these past seven games has really shown us where we are right now and what kind of team we can become in the future. So we just have to get back to practice, just working on the same things, just trying to get better so we could be, you know, the fastest team, the most disruptive team that we could be in the country. You two are always going back and forth on Twitter and you seem to be pretty good friends. Are you, I mean, how did a girl from Chicago and a girl from Marion County, Kentucky find common ground? 
have no idea. <laughs> we actually, we tell people that a lot. Like, we yeah. first met, you know, at McDonald's All-American, and it was awkward. She was like, hi, I'm Lene. And I was like, hi, I'm Michaela. Like, total, like really shy. Like, <laughs> really was, shy. Like, we was like, well, we're going to Kentucky next year. You know what I'm saying? Like, when we, but we really did even at McDonald's, we you know we wasn't side by side the whole time up there. She did her thing, I did mine, but just – Whenever we got uh, up here together, we just started clicking. I feel like I've known her my whole life. Yeah. Do you guys balance each other out? I mean, are, are you guys similar in different, in different ways? Yeah, she's the highs to my lows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we – uh, like, it really is crazy. Like, it's it's scary, honestly. Like, I've been around Kyvin, say, for eight years, and then I've been around Lene for two years, and you can't tell that, like, all three of us – like, I haven't known either of them no different amount of time. Yeah. And like she said, she, I'm the high to her lows. And to go along with that, um, our sophomore year was our first year actually living together. So that actually had a lot to do with it because we see each other like every day now versus just seeing each other here and there and at practices. But now it's like we live with each other, so we have no choice but to get along.